Let's get started for coffee and questions on Friday morning. You! Okay. Um, oh, Joe, you're killing me. <laughs> okay, I just read Joe's question. Okay, so Carmel, let's start with Carmel's question because it's a really good one. So if you've been online this week, oh, I just realized that Facebook mic's not even plugged in. Happy Friday, guys. Oh, Carmel, Carmel, let me know what Jose is trying to, trying to make me say. <laughs> you guys can have a little conversation in Spanish over there on Facebook over there while I answer your question, Carmel. Um, okay, so online, we've been jumping online every day this week, uh, basically just to launch the Stay Healthy During Isolation course. Um, I'm really trying to help everyone at the moment with practical, easy to understand and implement advice to help you at the moment. Rather than everyone, everyone seems to be floundering around with nutrition a little bit um, and you know, all the events have been canceled so nobody's got any goals. Motivation for a lot of people is at an all time low. Um, so I think having something to focus on at the moment is a really good thing. So a lot of people are doing online courses um, doing a bit of upskilling and education to make use of this time. So instead of trying to finish Netflix, um, do some reading, do some education, um, and yeah, make use of this time rather than it just be a complete waste of time and a time hole that is, yeah, like you look back on it and go, I wish I had have done this. I feel like people are already starting to do that a little bit in Australia. They're like, oh, I was going to learn how to do the splits in, in isolation and now we're kind of, starting to ease out of isolation so they're like oh i was going to make a curry and i haven't made a curry from scratch so if there's things that you wanted to do in this time and make use of it then now's the time to do it um, and so yeah there's a lot of online courses going around but i guess the reason that i created the online course was to try and help as many people stay as healthy as possible through this phase because right in the beginning i had so many clients and people contact me just freaking out about what they were going to do about their um, training goals, their racing goals, their body composition goals, um, and needed some sort of structure to keep them on track um, and some rhythm to keep them on track. So that's kind of why I created it is because so many people wanted some help and I can't help you one-on-one -on -one face to face right now. So we're going online. So Carmel's questions are around how the course actually works. So the stay healthy during isolation course, there's eight modules. And it's all like video so you get to look at my um, ugly mug all the time and some of it's kind of um, slides as well that I'll talk to so you don't have to look at my face all the time or you can just plug me into your ears and like not watch <laughs> that's also okay but it's all video and it's all online so you can do it at any time that suits you so there's eight modules you get access to module one which is some of the foundations of healthy eating you get access to that straight away and in that first module, we go through things like how to get more fruit and vegetables into your life. Because at the moment, we want to make sure we've got like maximum nutrient intake. And if, you, if you're not a sort of fruit and veggie eater, um, or it needs to go up, um, we know that only 6% of Australians eat enough fruit and veggies, which is just insane. So I'm hoping to change that one person at a time. <laughs> Um, so the, the first module goes through how to do that specifically, what to serve, how to increase it, how to include that many in your day. And then I also give you my how to build a healthy plate model so that you know how to build your meals at the moment to maximize nutrient um, density and also like super support your immune system with all that healthy nutrition. So that's module one. There's a bunch of other things in there as well, but you get access to that straight away, Carmel. So as soon as you register for the course, you get all of module one drop in. And then each module after that drops in weekly. So for eight modules, it get, you, get, you go through it over sort of six to seven weeks, um, and then you do a module each week. And the way I just, like I designed it that way because if I give it to you all in one go, the chance of you doing it are like slim because you've got it there and there's nothing kind of reminding you or driving you to pick up a routine around that. So uh, like it's part of having a structure and a rhythm and something to be accountable to is that this thing drops in weekly. And so you get a notification saying, Hey, you've got another module available, like jump online and, and, and go through it. And that just helps you tick things off consistently. The other thing that 
Uh, the other reason I did it that way um, is because I want you to take the information that I've given you and then start to practice it, put it in place, implement it into your life. And then you've got a week to kind of get some of those habits and foundations in place, do some practice with all the um, tips and skills I give you. Um, and then you can build and layer on that so that you um, are actually taking on all of these new skills or as many as you can absorb at the time, rather than just going, here's all this information, now go away and try and do it. So that's, that's the reason that I designed it that way. So it's, it's all videos, Carmel, it's all online, it's all self-paced, um, except one module drops in each week. Um, I think that was what you asked, asked just some of the, um, um, just some of the, the logistics around that, how that course works. So in terms of time, some of the, like a module might take you like an hour to go through, probably, probably depends what, like what you do as part of the module. Like if there's anything that you need to go away and come back for or anything you want to practice before you move on. Um, but a lot of the lessons, like they go for sort of maximum 10 minutes one of them one or two of them might be a little bit longer but i try and keep them small chunks so that you can like easily tick them off and not feel like you've got to sit down and watch this whole big lesson for an hour and you've got four of those because well, nobody nobody's gonna kind of do that if it's set up that way so i hope that answers your questions carmel around how that course works so for anybody that wants to do the course it's a $300 course, right? But at the moment there is a discount code floating around that gives you $200 off. So it's only $97. So absolute bargain. And that ends at the end of this long weekend. So the discount code that you need when you go and register for the course is COVID-19. Yep. <laughs> You're probably not going to um, forget it, but pop that uh, code into the, the checkout and it gives you a massive $200 off. So, that ends this weekend so if you're thinking about doing it or you want to do it then now's the time to do it because next week it jumps back up to 297 dollars again because i don't want cost to be a barrier at the moment i'd rather you have the information but i know that if i give it to you for free you're also not going to do it you need some sort of investment and accountability to to jump on and do it as well so um, that's why like I, I've designed it that way to try and help you actually get through it and do it. <laughs> There's a little bit of psychology going on there. You have to have some sort of commitment, financial commitment, and then it's spaced out so that you actually can go through it in a way that's achievable and you can then absorb that information and put it into place. So there's eight modules as part of the course. The first sort of the first four are like heavy nutrition related. So we've got some of the foundations of nutrition and healthy eating. And these are all skills that you can take with you forever, right? Like this is not just for right now. I think it's really important right now and people are kind of focused on their nutrition and their health right now. But these skills are something like some of the things that I teach my clients in private practice, like some of the fundamentals of nutrition that I think is so important. So like while you might absorb the information now, that's definitely something you can take away with you for life. So foundations of healthy eating, we've got, I'm teaching you how to read a label, like a food label, which I think is a skill that not a lot of people have. Um, and you know, with a bit of education, you can just become a food detective and you can start like calling out all that marketing BS on labels, you know how to pick which is the best product, how to compare things properly um, and also like a lot of the ingredients are listed like the ingredients list is listed in a certain way and there's also lots of hidden names for things so you can just start to read a, a label like a dietitian and make a good choice when you go to the supermarket um carmel said okay hopefully my internet can handle that <laughs> i think it'll be okay carmel <clears throat> um it'll all like it's all sort of on the cloud um, and it shouldn't be too, like it shouldn't be too hard to download and it might, you know, if your internet's like dial up, you might need to buffer for a little bit, but just buffer it for the lesson to, um, load and then you can watch it. I don't think it'll be a problem. It's not a really big clunky, um, space demanding course. There's a few downloads and stuff, but they're PDFs. So, um, it shouldn't be too taxing on your computer with your internet out in the sticks. All right, so we've got the first module's foundations, then we've got 
um, label reading. Then I'm going to teach you how to make some healthy snack choices and prevent the snack attacks that are kind of happening at the moment. So I'm going to give you my healthy snack formula. So you can build a snack based on some key targets to make sure that the snacks that you're having tick the right boxes. Now we're going to talk through how to eat chocolate with a dietitian, which you talked about yesterday. So I'm going to teach you specifically the skill of how to eat mindfully. And we're going to go through an activity together where you get to eat chocolate with me or, or wine, Catherine. I don't think she's online actually. Um, or chips or whatever it is that you want to eat. Um, I'm going to teach you how to eat that with full presence and get the maximum flavor um, and pleasure out of that eating occasion. Particularly um, important at the moment when we're doing a lot of procrastinating, stacking, uh, and we're not kind of engaging with the food that we're eating because we might be sitting at our desk trying to nibble um, on things while we're working. Good morning, Feature Future. Have you got a coffee? Coffee! <laughs> Make sure you take a photo of you drinking a coffee with me, Feed Your Future, and post it online later. Art, are you drinking a coffee? Best start to the day. Um, okay, so that's the first four. And then this is where I lose track of my own course. I'm going to talk you through gut health and immunity, which is like super important at the moment. Just making sure that you're, you've got like good... Um, range of gut microbes in your, in your um, digestive system because we know that about 70% of your immune cells reside in your gut. So really important sort of first barrier of protection is making sure that your gut microbes are happy. Um, and so I'm gonna teach you specifically around the types of foods that you wanna be making sure you are including at the moment if you're not. Uh, and then also continue that forever, right? Like this is not a just a now thing. This is some of the foundations of what you should be doing for life. So. I'm, I'm gifting you all this information now in a time where people need it the most, but it's something that you can take away with you forever. Um, I've got a bonus module on exercise because I think there's a few key nutrition interventions that you need to be doing around your exercise and training at the moment, just to make sure that we're not um, stressing our immune system because we know that we, um, like, the certain type of exercise can increase your risk of getting sick, or increase your risk to infection. So, well, no. Certain type of exercise, my coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Certain type of exercise that we wanna be doing to support our immune system, and that's really beneficial for it. And then there's certain type of exercise that's blunting our immune system and, and putting us at higher risk of getting sick. So that sort of exercise, if we're doing it, we just need to make sure that we're maximizing our nutrition to support that. So that we're not doing um, that sort of immune, we're not sort of blunting our immune system through that sort of training. Okay, and then we're going to also talk about sleep, which is so important for our immune system and how to get better sleep. Because I don't know, there was something on the project last night about how people have crazy dreams and having weird um, like sleep patterns and stuff at the moment. So and we know that sleep affects our immunity positively and can also do it negatively if we're not sleeping particularly well or the quality is poor. Uh, so there's a whole module on how to, like how sleep and affects immunity and also how to get better sleep. Um, all right, and then finally, don't hate me for this one, there's an alcohol, alcohol module. <laughs> so again, we know that alcohol actually is not great for our immune system. Um, and you know, definitely chronic heavy drinking is the worst, um, but even sort of moderate amounts of alcohol uh, are not doing us much favor uh, in a time again, where people are drinking more, like 70% of Australians are drinking more than usual at the moment. So I think it's also really important to have that discussion and I'm not saying you can't ever drink again. Um, and I, yeah, I'm not saying that you should abstain from alcohol. But I think we need to talk about some guidelines around drinking and just some strategies to manage that through this phase. Again, to keep you as healthy as possible. You know, stay healthy during isolation. These are all the key components that you should be trying to upskill and educate yourself around so that you, are, you come out of this in the best shape possible. So that's the course. Uh, it's all self-paced. One module drops in each week. And make sure that you jump on and get it before the end of this long weekend with the discount code COVID-19 if you want it. Otherwise, it's back up to $300. So hopefully that answers your questions, Carmel. All right, let's see who's here. So we've got Kira. Good morning, Kira. 
Um, and it looks like Jose is still having a conversation in Spanish, which is awesome. Onre said, can we all share favorite corners of our places and say why it gives us good vibes? I'm feeling like some interior inspo. Do you mean like the favorite corners of where we are right now? Like our houses? This is my um, office corner, is that what you mean? <laughs> this is my plant that keeps me happy. Um, and it also reminds me to water it if it's right there. Um, all right, and then let's have a look on Insta. We've got a bunch of people on here. Crazy, hello everyone. Lisa Middleton, hello Simone Austin. Fiji Future said, it's getting insane how much I can see my friends on Facebook turn to alcohol. Yeah, yep, and my own clients are doing it too, right? It's not, um, it hasn't kind of escaped many people. Um, I think there's, there's a couple of reasons why people are drinking more. Um, and if anybody's got any other sort of insights, let me know. But one is boredom. Um, there's not a lot to do. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, I'll just drink. There's also no events on the cards. And so if it is suddenly your off season, it might be your time to sort of start drinking or drinking a little bit more. Um, and a lot of sort of anxiety drinking happening or depressive drinking happening um, is another one. And then I think there's a lot of like needing to relax and wind down at the end of the day. Um, days for people are kind of quite stressful at the moment, particularly if you're homeschooling kids. I know a lot of my clients that have kids are just like, I need a glass of wine at the end of the day. <laughs> um, you're suddenly stuck trying to manage your own work life with everyone in the house. Um, and then homeschool kids who are not used to taking that sort of um, advice or feedback from mum or dad. And so, yeah, there's a lot of um, parents kind of reaching for wine more in the evenings. Um, yeah, so if anybody else has any other insights into why alcohol intake is increased, I'm keen to hear them, but they're, they're the kind of reasons I've seen so far in my community. Um, so yeah, I think there's a few reasons. Uh, there's a lot of funny memes going around around alcohol intake, but I think you just need to be a little bit mindful with your alcohol intake at the moment because it does affect your immune system for the negative. All right, Onre said, yes, our homes. <laughs> uh, Onre, so Onre, <laughs> how about, how about Onre, um, everyone takes a photo of the corner of their house that they're in with their coffee while they're watching live. How does that sound? <laughs> um, hopefully my little corner of my office gives you some inspiration. Um, hilarious. <laughs> but you need to get out. We all need to get out more, Onre. All right, is there any questions through here that I missed? So I know Joe, Joe asked a good question. I might answer your question next week, Joe, um, once I've um, had a bit of a think about it, because it's a good question and I don't think I can do it justice right now. But yes, the answer is yes. Um, I did write a blog on it, Joe. Um, so let me refresh, it was a while ago, let me refresh myself and we can talk about it next week. So Joe's basically asking about nitrate. So yeah, my, my brain is not switched on to that currently. So I'm gonna answer that one for you next week. And then I can give you better information rather than just rambling. All right, Art wants to know thoughts on blending fruits and veggies, not juicing. I get, I get questions on this a lot. So when you juice fruit versus blend it, um, you strip out all that good fiber. So the juice machine actually extracts the juice from the fruit and the vegetables and leaves all that good gut loving fiber in the machine. So that's the main difference between juicing and blending, whereas blending the whole, the whole fruit still stays in there. Like you still got get all that fiber. So if you want to, like there's a lot of people having like smoothies and juices and stuff now to try and get their nutrient intake up. I would definitely recommend juicing because you get all that gut loving fiber still there, which is where a lot of the nutrition lies in the skin of things sometimes as well, depending on what it is. Um, and we do want all that fiber as well. So definitely recommend juicing, not, uh, blending into a smoothie and keeping the whole fruit there rather than juicing it at, and then throwing all that good fiber down the, down the drain or, or in the bin. Um, if you are juicing, um, then use that fiber stuff and make muffins out of it or slice or something. So you still get to eat it 
or scrape it out of the machine and then put it back into your drink, which is a bit sort of like messy. Uh, you're better off just like making a smoothie to start with. But if you are juicing and that's all you've got, then make sure you get all that fiber out of the machine and use it and eat it somehow, whether it's back in the drink or you're making muffins or something out of it so it doesn't go to waste. Um, somebody wants to know what's my favorite breakfast asking from British Columbia, Canada. Wow. I don't have a favorite breakfast. <laughs> um, I like variety in my food. So I, you, I rarely eat the same breakfast, um, two days in a row. Yep. So I really like making a batch of muesli. So on the website, there's a free recipe for my muesli and I make my own and I throw in there all the things that I really like and I have that with a nice high protein yogurt and some berries um, but I won't have that two days in a row I shake things up all the time so I love food too much to eat the same thing all the time <laughs> all right what else have I missed on Ray said regarding alcohol I'm so self-conscious that even an Asian flush at home bothers me so it helps me with not drinking too vain, but works especially under current circumstances. <laughs> um, my sister-in-law is um, like of Asian descent and she has the same sort of problem on Ray um, and doesn't drink for that reason. Like almost is, um, almost is allergic to alcohol in a way. Good morning, Mark Gleason. All right, is there any other questions? There's a bunch of people on. I'm getting too hot in my jumper now. <laughs> uh, definitely need to take it off and get back into a t-shirt. So even though it was 15 degrees here overnight, I think it's going to be nice and warm today, which is good. All right. If there's no other questions, we might wrap this up. I need to finish my coffee. I hope everyone has a really nice long weekend. Um, try not to drink too much. Get out and do some exercise. Carly, I'll keep an eye on the 42 Ks in 42 hours thing. That looks really awesome. So keep me in the loop with how that's going. And if you, if you drunk a coffee with me, please um, take a photo and post it. It's so, it makes me so happy to see that happening all around the world. And Onrez also put a request in for sending her <laughs> what your house looks like. <laughs> because she wants some interior design um, inspiration. <laughs> uh, funny. All right, Art said, thank you so much. Enjoy the weekend. You too, Art. Thanks for jumping on again. Good luck with the interview, Elsa from Panama. <clears throat> um, I hope that goes well. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next week for another Coffee and Questions. And I'll answer your nitrate question next week, Joe. So that's a good one. We'll have a good discussion around nitrate um, and its benefit. All right, team, have a really good weekend. Stay safe and I'll see you next Friday.